Welcome to Travel Secrets North America. Today, we're reporting from Santa Barbara in California, also known as the American Riviera. Santa Barbara is only 90 minutes north of Los Angeles, but it feels worlds away. The city is located between the Santa Inez Mountains and the Pacific Ocean. The magic of Santa Barbara lies in her diversity of experiences and rich history. You can travel back in time by visiting the historic Old Mission Santa Barbara with its grand double bell towers, lush gardens, and the majestic Santa Ynez Mountains as a backdrop. The Mission is one of the city's most picturesque landmarks, known as Queen of the Missions for its exceptional beauty. The Santa Barbara Mission was founded by the Spanish Franciscans in 1786. Culture and history are alive in Santa Barbara. Some examples are the Museum of Art, the Granada Theater, and the Santa Barbara Public Library. There are also new projects. One of them is Moxie, the Wolf Museum of Exploration and Innovation. Its three floors are filled with loads of interactive experiences organized around seven themes that all relate to science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. The first floor shows the wonders of sound. Visitors can step inside a giant guitar, make movie magic in the Foley studio, or be mesmerized by the fascinating sound machine. On the second floor, people play with light and speed on a wide range of interactive equipment. The color mixing machine and the roller coaster track are the favorite ones. Here, you can build and test your own race car. The third floor not only provides a great view over the city, but also an eye-catching dynamic fountain where kids and adults experiment with water or play a weather organ. A day spent at Moxie will be different each time you visit with new things to see new approaches to take, new challenges to solve, and new discoveries to uncover. This is a place where fun comes first, and learning happens in active, exciting, and unexpected ways. Only five minutes from Moxie, in Santa Barbara's harbor, is Stern's Wharf longest deep water pier between Los Angeles and San Francisco. Stern's Wharf is Santa Barbara's most visited tourist attraction. It was named after lumberman John P. Stearns and served the passenger and freight shipping needs of California's south coast for over a quarter century. There are four restaurants, a shellfish market, a wine tasting room, and an ice cream parlor. Stern's Wharf welcomes young anglers several times during the year for tournaments. In their ongoing mission to introduce kids to pier fishing, IGFA, the International Game Fish Association, scheduled a series of events for the youth of California. Also located on Stern's Wharf is the Santa Barbara Museum of Natural History Sea Center. Here, Visitors have close encounters with sea creatures and enjoy the ever-popular Shark Touch Pool. No trip to Santa Barbara would be complete without a healthy dose of shopping. A day spent shopping is like a day of exercise, thanks to plenty of walking and fresh air. You can also call it sightseeing because of all the beautiful buildings along State Street, the main shopping area. Wandering through Paseo Nuevo, one of Santa Barbara's open-air malls is an experience by itself. Loaded with shops and showrooms, restaurants, bars, and coffee shops, State Street is definitely the main artery in town. Santa Barbara can be explored car-free. There is much to do within walking and bicycling distance of the train station, downtown, the mission, and the waterfront. Hop on an open-air shuttle or rent one of the family bikes for a ride up State Street 
or along the beach. The Funk Zone has become a favorite in recent years. This district has enjoyed an upswell of wine tasting rooms, cafes, galleries, and shops that cater to Santa Barbara's contemporary side. Converted warehouses and buildings decorated with graffiti murals and contemporary art pieces set the tone for this hopping section of town. Are you wondering where you can go and please your whole family? The Santa Barbara Harbor has something for everyone. Boat rentals, deep sea fishing, scuba diving, and whale watching. There is also a maritime museum and several restaurants. Perched on the sand along the edge of the harbor is the Santa Barbara Yacht Club, a great venue for viewing ocean races, enjoying a meal with friends, or simply soaking in the sights and sounds of the beach. Operation Christmas Child is a project of Samaritan's Purse, an international relief organization. Our mission is to provide local partners around the world with shoebox gifts filled with fun toys, hygiene items, and school supplies as a means of reaching out to children in their own communities with the good news of Jesus Christ. Soon, local churches and other family gatherings will be hosting their own packing party. Millions of gift-filled shoeboxes will be packed and delivered to nearly 5,000 drop-off sites in all 50 states and Puerto Rico. Join me as we take a closer look at the incredible journey many of these boxes will take to reach their destinations. I'm Ed Langston and we're here at the Operation Christmas Child uh, Collection Center for the Murrieta Temecula area. They bring between 50 and 150 cartons and we will pack them on these trailers. They will go on pallets and they will shrink wrap them and they will take them out to 18 wheelers and they will either take them to the shipyard and put on boats or they will take them to airports where they have very large aircrafts and they will fly to their destinations. Once they get there, the process is really unique because they can get to the individual child by boat, by camel, by elephant, by canoe, by kayak, and by people just walking them on their head. It's an amazing method of uh, distribution to the kids. child receive a gift box, the child is invited to go through the greatest journey. These boxes can be used as a tool to touch a whole community. The Great Commission, we're to go into all the world to preach the gospel, to make disciples of all nations, to baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Evangelism, discipleship, and multiplication, that's what we do. It never ceases to amaze me how a simple box can change the world for a child. Hallelujah, amen. The amazing journey of a shoebox gift begins with you. Plan on joining us to fill, wrap, and most importantly, pray for your special shoebox.
If you are looking for a unique getaway for a day, the historic Danish village of Solvang offers the best of the Santa Inez Valley and the Santa Barbara wine country in a relaxed and peaceful setting. Stroll through the village and admire the old world European architecture. Indulge in authentic Danish pastries at world famous bakeries. Each week, the Solvang Farmer's Market displays a colorful bounty of agriculture products grown right in the area. Seasonal diversity is available year-round, rain or shine. The Solvang Market typically includes about 30 vendors, most from the Central Coast. A few from the Central Valley provide stone fruits, but the county's stronghold crops, salad, vegetables and berries are represented by local farmers. Between Solvang and Santa Barbara, next to US 101, lies Gaviota. This area has some of California's most beautiful beaches and is home to President Ronald Reagan's ranch, also known as the Riviera White House. Our camera team got an invitation to the Orella Ranch, next to the Reagan Ranch. This is the oldest boundary in Santa Barbara County because this ranch next to us was part of the original Spanish land grant and uh, then this was the second Spanish land grant and that is the boundary that still exists today between our ranch and the next ranch. Our family was not granted this land, they purchased it in the late 1860s. There was a drought in the early 1860s where there was half a million head of cattle and at the end of the drought there were 5,000 alive. It destroyed the entire cattle culture and destroyed all the original dawns of the land grants. And that was when the land was being sold off to new ranchers and people. Formerly, Orella held cattle in traditional dry crops. But over the last several years, the Tartram family suspended cattle production and transformed the ranch into an operation that relies on permaculture, a deliberate blend of organic plant and animal ecologies that provide for farmers' needs. One of Tartram's long goals for Orella is to build permanent housing for people who volunteer at the ranch. Orella participates in the worldwide opportunities for organic farms, a global network that links volunteers with organic farms. Sometimes work is exchanged for room and board or university credits. The counties of Santa Barbara and Ventura, with agricultural lands in the coastal zone, still make use of unique soil and climate conditions to produce high-value crops, provide fresh and healthy produce to local markets, and reduce the pressure of urbanization on coastal and marine ecosystems. One good example is the city of Santa Paula, situated in the rich agricultural Santa Clara River Valley, in fact, Santa Paula is referred to as the citrus capital of the world. It is home to fruit packing plants for sun-kissed oranges and limonera lemons. We got a look into the new and amazing packing facility of limonera that is capable of packing up to 2,400 cartons of lemons per hour and has a storage capacity for 60,000 pack cartons. Limonera also launched its Lemons for Life campaign. We wanted to find out what the natural power and health benefits of lemons are. Hi, I'm Megan Roosevelt, registered dietitian nutritionist, founder and CEO of Healthy Grocery Girl, and spokesperson for Limonera's Lemons for Life. Limonera strives to promote health. In addition to proper nutrition, exercise is important to help us maintain an optimal level of wellness. Tennis, with its aerobic movement, helps to burn fat, increase energy levels, and increase our heart rate. It's a great fun way to exercise. And lemon water is one of the healthiest beverages that an athlete or anyone can consume. Lemons contain the immune boosting and antioxidant vitamin C that can help balance pH levels and help us stay hydrated. Next to Limonera is Calabo Growers. This company was established in 1924 as an agricultural cooperative and was instrumental in launching the California avocado industry.
My name is Mike Nunez. I'm the president of the Avocado Society. We're celebrating today the annual meeting here at Lima Nera Ranch. The avocado is such amazing fruit. We've had it a, a di uh, dilated down, and the nutritional value is higher than than, uh, than lobster. It is the amazing fruit that we have. It is recommended by almost every doctor that has a diet plan. The avocado is there because all of the nutritional value, you break it down, it's amazing fruit. So my name is Sal Dominguez and I am privileged to be on the board of the Haas Avocado Board as a director. And this is something I've been involved with uh, for over a year. And really happy that the Haas Avocado Board is really taking on research to continue to improve or to uh, disseminate the information about the benefits of Haas avocados and avocados in general. So they are doing consider considerable amount of uh, nutritional studies with different very high prestigious universities throughout the United States. The wonderful thing about eating organic avocados is you can be 100% assured that they have no pesticides, herbicides, residues of things that are poisonous to us, plus the fact that they have extra minerals and vitamins that maybe conventional avocados don't have. How important avocados are for the area can be seen at the California Avocado Festival. For three decades, the community of Carpinteria has come together every year to create this outstanding event with three days of fun, love, and guacamole. We are here with global visionary Jack Reed, award-winning author of The Next Evolution, a blueprint for transforming the planet. Jack lives here in Santa Barbara and we have some burning questions for him. I'm sure there are many reasons why you wrote the book The Next Evolution, but what is the main reason that inspired you the most? A long time ago, for some reason inside me, I've always had the commitment to creating a world that works for everyone. And long ago, I saw the way that we live together and relate together in community is the basic building block that, that's needed to transform the planet. We need to demonstrate how people can live together in a completely different way than this every person for themselves approach that we've been doing uh, for thousands of years. So I held that kind of idealized vision in my head for a long time. And then I got together with a group of people who also wanted to create a model for how we could create a world that works for everyone. And we worked for three years to put together that vision, what it would look like, how it would work. And that became the essence for the Community Planet vision, which I later wrote the book about, but you know, we describe in detail how there's 12, there would be 12 uh, focus areas that have to do with, with um, you know, the description of how the community would work. And uh, we gave a great deal of, of attention to each one of those areas and the description of that. And uh, I think that most people, and there have been a lot of people who've read the book and said, you know, that's, that's my vision. And I say to them, claim it because, uh, claim it is yours because anybody who's really thought about how we can create a world that works for everyone, I think would come up with a very similar vision to what we came up with because it's all based on the simplicity of just that. How we, can, how we can make it work for everybody, how we can uh, view this as it's all us and eliminate the separation that, uh, that causes divisions and, and cause people to not move into the kind of cooperation that they can move into if we really experience ourselves as one loving family, which is what is the uh, basis for this community vision.
While strolling along State Street, we saw several people sleeping on benches. We asked ourselves, could it be that a popular tourist destination like Santa Barbara has a homeless population? We asked an expert what can be done to solve this problem. My name is Gary Gray. I'm the president and CEO of Rescue Mission Alliance. And um, we have uh, an organization here. You're in the office of the headquarters. Uh, we oversee uh, six different ministries in uh, L.A. County, uh, Ventura County, San Bernardino County, and San Barbara County. Uh, we have uh, rescue missions in each of those areas, along with uh, uh, thrift stores that support the ministries. And uh, we're working with the uh, homeless uh, to provide shelter, food, clothing uh, for both men, uh, women, and children. Uh, we provide uh, about 900 meals daily here in uh, Ventura County and uh, many other meals across uh, in the other areas. Uh, so we, we also have recovery programs for those who are struggling with addictions, uh, substance abuse. Uh, it's nine month programs for uh, men, women and children. And uh, uh, we also uh, have uh, vocational training that's provided so that they can uh, learn job skills and go on to live uh, sober and independent lives uh, once they graduate. We work a lot with the uh, local uh, evangelical churches to partner with them in uh, connecting our uh, the people that are in need uh, to the uh, church ministries so that once they uh, go back into the community they've got relationships that they built with the churches that they can then rely on and uh, fellowship with in, in order to sustain them uh, long term. Uh, so our, uh, that's what our organization does. Most of the uh, people that we serve are uh, either uh, homeless because of uh, their addictions or uh, life choices and uh, we're uh, there to help them try and get back on their feet when nobody else is there to help them. So that's what uh, rescue missions do. It's not a costly and unsolvable problem. It's really about getting to know the people on the street and their needs. It's about helping them to qualify for a job, finding them housing, and providing the services they need to keep them housed. Our film crew went on an island wildlife cruise with Island Packers. They organize a variety of exciting tours with small groups to all the islands. A boat trip is a great way to discover the unique natural environment of Channel Islands National Park. On a narrated island wildlife cruise along Anacapa's rugged North Shore, you can spot seals, sea lions, and island birds. A great way to spend quality time with family and friends. The islands are a paradise for outdoor enthusiasts. They provide countless opportunities to explore secluded coves, sea caves, and beaches. The fields of wild flowers cover large parts of the rugged landscape. In exceptional years, the yellow flowers bloom so plentiful on Anacapa that their glow can be seen from the mainland 12 miles away. Some of the finest and most unique dive sites in the world can be found at Channel Islands National Park. Over 800 species of diverse marine life live here. This is why the islands are called the Galapagos of North America. Divers can expect to see moray eels, octopus, abalone, rock scallops, spiny lobsters, sea urchins, manta rays, and playful seals. Ventura Ranch KOA is the perfect four season retreat to relax and enjoy a great vacation in Southern California. You will enjoy the peaceful surroundings, but also the easy access to all the fun and excitement. 
Staying in a fully equipped cabin with all the creature comfort is an excellent way to renew your romance. Whether you're slipping away for a week, a weekend, or just overnight, Ventura Ranch KOA has everything you need for a perfect romantic getaway, a reunion, or other family gatherings. Top of the line furnishings and decor make these cabins truly hidden jewels. Big, comfortable chairs and sofas. Flat screen TVs. Gas fireplaces. And spacious decks offer a peaceful place to sit back and view the beautiful area. Or enjoying an outdoor meal. But see for yourself. in Santa Barbara is enough to rejuvenate anyone. The sunshine, coastal breeze, and beautiful surroundings are an instant mood lifter. Staying healthy is a way of life in Santa Barbara, where yoga studios and health-focused eateries thrive. You'll find locally sourced, farm-to-table meals, fresh off-the-boat seafood, craft brews, and critically acclaimed wines. Perhaps the hardest choice you'll make is where to dine. But if you want to take rest and relaxation a step further, Santa Barbara offers plenty of top-ranked spas and wellness centers to choose from. There are many ways to explore Santa Barbara. Whatever you decide to explore, the islands, the city, the small towns around it, and Santa Inez Valley, Santa Barbara's wine country, you'll be inspired and motivated to come back and dive deeper into the spirit of Santa Barbara.